Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to add custom supports in Bamboo Studio Slicer. I repeat, I'm going to show you how to add custom supports to a 3D print that you maybe need like a section of supports on and only there. So step number one is to obviously open Bamboo Studio Slicer. Step number two is to import your file. Chances are you're already there. I'm going to be using a Psyduck Pokemon as kind of like a demonstration here. So what I'm going to do is upsize it a lot. Uh, that's a little too big. So what we want to do here is if we look at the side of the print here or the file, you can tell that we're going to need custom or we're going to need supports right here where his beak is, right? And chances are your file, we might need it here and we might need it where his tail is. So what we want to do here is we want to click on the preview tab and that's going to slice our entire file. It's telling us it has floating regions, please blah, 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 enable supports, right? So next what we want to do here is we want to click on the support tab down here in the middle. See where my mouse is? Click on the support tab. It's the third one over. Enable support. Click that. When choosing the type of support, click on that drop down. Click on normal because you can choose to do normal or tree. I tend to use tree because it's like less invasive and it's just like it's smaller and it uses less product. I, I prefer it. I'm going to do tree manual. And then what you need to do is click slice up in the right hand corner. Follow these directions. This was a little hard for me to learn. Click that and then click all the way back to the prepare tab. This is a little weird, I know. So then next what you need to do is you need to highlight your 3D print file and then click on this icon right here where it says enable or uh, it says supports painting. Click on that icon. And then what we need to do here is we need to paint a section of where we want supports. But what we need is we need to go, let's click the back button here because we need to rotate the print to where we can see the bottom of where the supports need to be. So go back and then click on, um, now we can click on the prepare tab and highlight the print and then click on that button again where it says painting supports. Now we can actually paint it. So if you hover your mouse over the spot, it says uh, we can start to paint it. And again, this is a really small like little paintbrush. So you can increase the paint size or the pen size so it's pretty big. And then now I can highlight where I need custom supports put on the 3D print in here in Bamboo Studio. This slicer allows this, which is pretty cool. So I'm just highlighting this and essentially, I'm gonna do a quick job here. And then all you have to do when you're done is click slice plate on the top right hand corner. All right, so here we are on the preview screen and we can see here, this is where it put the custom supports, which is perfect for us. This is how you add custom supports in Bamboo Studio Slicer. If you have any more questions, hit me up in the comments and please consider subscribing guys.